Hey family, welcome to the channel Swift Intuitions. This is gonna be for all my powerful cancers. If this is your first time on my channel, I wanna say welcome. Thank you for your likes and subscribe. So Cancer, this is gonna be um, a reading for January 24th to the 31st. So this is the last week of January. I know this month and came and went by so fast. So let's see what is coming your way, okay? Messages of clarity and truth. Most high, what's coming towards our powerful, brilliant cancers and uh, this next week from the 20, 24th to the 31st, the last week. Ooh, <laughs> the last week in January. So, the first thing I have is let's get wasted. Party, party, party. So right now I feel like cancer. Maybe this last week, maybe you uh, are going to be going to a couple of gatherings. People are inviting you, wanting you to come party with them. I feel like there's somebody that uh, feels that you're really... Um, they feel that you're really fun when you get a little tipsy. So be mindful, drink responsibly. But yeah, I feel like this last week, maybe that could be an engagement or a party that you're going to be going to. Somebody really wants to uh, see you in a in a like a type of free and freeish environment. It says, um, I see here, wish I had your gifts your intuition. So I feel like there's somebody who admires your ability to tap into people's emotions uh, or or even just to know their emotions before, you know, before they even tell you something. And I feel like right now this weekend, um, somebody could be sharing that they really appreciate your gifts or that they want to know how could they uh, tap into their own spiritual gifts right now. I do see uh, money issues. And what is this? Uh, um, Somebody's desperately wanting you back, but I feel like whoever this is that's wanting you back, they could be having some type of money issues at this time. This could be something that you could have already sensed. And 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 right now, I feel like in order for them to open up to you, they feel it, this is like somebody that wants you to read them so they don't have to tell you something. And and I feel like they, they feel comfortable while they are uh, drinking to open up to you. And I feel like they, they, they feel like that'll be the opportunity for them to talk to you about some of the things that could be going on in their life right now cancer so again it says uh I, I see right here it says i'm never returning to the situation so there could be uh it's, it's feeling like an ex something an ex friend an ex situation that you no longer really want to put yourself in the energy of maybe this was somebody that you always party with a lot and you know and you just felt like maybe this person brought out the toxic energy in you but it's something that you really don't want to go back into uh like go back into um a connection with it was something that you that you disconnected yourself from it says you will be my wife slash husband one day so <laughs> i'm seeing here cancer okay so this is somebody who you have uh you had a relationship with before or a situationship, however you prefer. And this person right now, I feel like you've kind of distanced yourself. You could have stopped drinking. You could have stopped partying like you used to. And this person is really missing that fun, loving, outgoing you. And I feel like it's not that you're still you're not fun or, or outgoing. It's just that you, you started becoming more reserved. You started uh, realizing that some of those things that you used to do really was uh, could have been filling a void, an emotional void. And ooh, did that just thing just came. Ooh. My whole thing just broke on me. That's crazy. <laughs> Somebody say, Mercy, don't be telling on my business. But yeah, so right now I'm feeling like there is, um, there, there's somebody that really wants to uh, go into union with you and they want to express to you uh, that they want more than just whatever type of connection you have this person is looking at wanting to propose to you right now i do see july august september uh and i see scorpio pisces and cancer that you could be dealing with now somebody does have money issues at this time but i see here they want to start over it says uh can we start over Somebody wants another opportunity at making you their their significant other. I feel like they realize uh, what they had after you started pulling your energy back, and they don't want to lose you, Cancer. Mm -hmm. I need some money, but this person is coming back needy. Like it's it's like you want to come express your love. You want to tell me you want to be my husband, my wife, or whatever, but. 
this person is having a lot of money issues. And and right now, um, I see July, August, September. So maybe maybe something happened last year where they really lost some funds or maybe uh, coming up in July, or August, September, like they're gonna wanna try to pop a question to you or really reveal to you you know why they are having money issues it says you drive me crazy so this person mm, unless this is you cancer having money issues and they want to help you out let me see huh most high what is this money issues here mm, third party situation what is that it's like maybe this person may feel like you may be having money issues and they want to come in and help you out uh huh. The spiritual gifts. This person, this person, wish they had your spiritual gifts because whoever this was, Cancer, you caught them in a lie, and now they're trying to see. Um, you you caught this person in a lie, and I feel like now you're really guarded towards them, and they want you to open up. That's the reason why they want to invite you out. Hopefully, you will start drinking and start loosening up around them. I feel like whoever they could have lied, uh, uh, who, whoever the, whoever they could have went and and been with after you, uh, you caught them in a lie, and then it, it's like if this individual could have uh, took them for some money. Yeah, I'm feeling that strongly. Um, this person wants to party and get wasted because they want something to change in your dynamic, uh, especially if this person was married. For some of you guys, the person that third party that you probably didn't know about, or you probably did, this person could have been married and like, and, and, and like, since the separation is like, they're not as, uh, financially well off as they were. And I'm seeing that right now, this person, uh, within this, within this last week of January, they want to really reach out to you and tell you how they feel. And they want, it's like, they want to marry you and they want to see will you um will you give them another chance to start a new beginning in love but i see i need money what does i need money here for okay so i feel like this person wants to offer you a long-term commitment but they want to wait till their finances get up so this could be an energy where they feel like they don't have enough to come to you right now because it could have been something that you were accustomed to them having uh, before their money issue started and i do see uh you drive me crazy with the night of store so this person wants to come and tell you that they really want to be with you but they want to get their money up and they're going to give you like a deadline well uh like they could be expecting something within jet uh, July, August of September. So it like it, it's like a promise. Somebody wants to promise you the the, the life that you um, that you feel like they are supposed to give you. All right, Cancer, what y'all got going on? But you'll find it out within this within the last week of January. All right, family, I love you. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>